I want to make sure yeah. for, uh, okay, cool. Name is Ruben Barsky. Uh, all right, and what's the name of your band? Done. All right, now, what, um, do me a favor, okay? Look, look here. Yeah, that's where you are. Right, and then look here for a second. Okay. Just want to make a decision about which way I want to do This way again, okay, good. And then that way. Okay, this way it's going to be. So basically, whether I'm physically here or whether I'm back there, this is, this is the guy, the guy's here. Just so you know, not there, not there, here. You know, this area here, if you, if I'm not there, you can just look straight there, um, but that's it. So it's always off camera, it's a little bit like that. Right. All right, that's it. Um, you are, now you asked about movement. Now, you wanna shift, you wanna do anything? Well, I mean, do whatever just, you have I'm to do. Seeing, like, yeah, you're, you're, you're good, you can around. shift. You, you, it's tight, but I can, uh, A, I can move with you, like, and I number go, two, like, I can go here. you can do whatever you want. It's actually yeah. sometimes cool to go out of focus. It actually looks really nice okay. for a moment. So you do whatever you think. I'm not gonna hold you back sure, on sure, anything, sure, sure. all right? You really go with your instincts. This is really about, I, I direct, but I really like to collaborate and it's wherever you Absolutely. think. And, and, and again, accidents are sometimes the best moments. Yeah. Oh, the oh, uh, Woodrow Affair, the Vultures. Cool, because I, okay, here we go. <clears throat> oh, sorry, what's your name for real? Oh, Forget yeah. Roman Barsky. Yeah, Jonah. Jonah. Love it, love it, Jonah. And you don't have a last name, then you don't have to, but Jonah's enough. Do you wanna, do you if name? you have it, tell me. If you don't, then just say all yeah, I have is Jonah. Yeah, Jonah Abrams. Jonah Abrams. Done. Okay. All right. All right, Mr. Abrams, I can call you. Hey, Jonah. Done. And I'm going to keep you tight right now. And I got your focus. Okay. All right. All right, Jonah. This is um. This is what we know so far. Um, thanks to your videos that uh, you say you didn't send us, but uh, have your fingerprints all over them. And uh, according to the preliminary statements of the people that. Have taken your interviews uh you don't um you don't deny being a, a part of of i don't even know what to call it the plan to videotape that party you, you absolutely admit to being a part but of yeah that. i admit to being part of that okay so that's not in dispute okay? yeah so really and uh we do respect the fact that you know you, we didn't have to code looking for you but what is the motive of, of coming to us um i mean at first we got these ribs and drabs of these scenes here but what is your goal here you 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 you're, you're making some type of blair witch film no, that no, I'm went trying, awry? I, mean, I mean excuse me a second i mean i would really just like to clear my name i had nothing to do with um arson i had nothing to do with arson this was my girlfriend you know planned on filming this party as reality thing and i just wanted to and you got permission from everyone you know, you got permission from everyone at the party to film them? Or no? uh, I mean, not entirely. Okay, not and that entirely. was, your, you as a filmmaker, you knew about, of course, you know, releases, but what, I mean, your, your girlfriend said don't bother, or I mean, how, what was the whole, when you guys planned this, what was the idea going into it? I mean, according to, according well, to The you. idea to going into it was just filming a live setting party and uh, to see, I guess, People are really sick of reality TV, and this is this is the realest we're gonna get in, in, into uh, reality is by filming a, an actual um, party, and um, especially seeing as the kids that they don't even know each other. And the great part about it was we were gonna film um, just a live setting party, and that's what we want. That's what we intended to do. And uh, I mean, nobody necessarily needed to know about it per se, but we went about it in a way I guess it would seem irresponsible. And uh, but you know, for the most part, we got. Um, we got what we set to do. Yeah, you got what you set to do. You, you, you certainly you captured reality, all that. You also um, you also got a, 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 an ending that you say you had nothing to do with, but it, the ending is responsible for why your film is now widely known and actually on network television. So you're telling me you had everything to do with filming it, but you thought in America would have some interest in these random people having a drunken night or whatever. Like, Absolutely, America loves that stuff. I mean, it wasn't our intention to, excuse me for, it wasn't our intention uh, for anybody to get hurt. Um, you weren't trying to make a tragedy, you're telling me. Not at all, not at all. I was just set on doing something great, something that people have never really seen before, something that the, the industry uh, execs at you know Fox haven't haven't really done. They're just they're just exploiting uh, real people. What I what I was set to do is actually show the reality, what reality actually is, and what it really what it really was. And and that's that's what I, that's all I wanted to do is actually bring reality to reality television. I didn't want that wasn't trying to do anything uh, to harm anybody. But and let, let's let's pretend all that's true. Let's, let's say it's like everything I face out that you say and you're saying the truth town. Uh, obviously, you realize what you have, and you realize it's valuable. But at what cost? I mean, how can you even have any 
satisfaction about this when your own girlfriend is presumed dead. I mean, we, we, we're get, we don't have the DNA in these people, but my God, these people died and it, uh, maybe it wasn't your intent. Let's say you said that wasn't your intent. I mean, how do you even look at this film with any kind of artistic value at all? To me, it's just evidence. To me, it's horrible evidence of a horrible tragedy. Evidence of what? I mean, I haven't done anything. <laughs> evidence of something. I mean, I have a, perhaps of an accident, perhaps of a conspiracy, perhaps of a homicide, perhaps of a suicide. I don't know. People do crazy things every day. I see it every day in our work. All I want to know is that you know, you're telling me that you had everything to do with it. You 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 actually you inst you admit that you installed the cameras into the house. I mean, you admit that part. You've yeah. already given that statement. Okay, so you've done that. You admit that you did the editing. And you you were actually what? Yeah, I edited the film. And, and and who paid for the hotel room? Yeah, I mean that credit card was your girlfriend's that was at the Ritz. I mean that's that's been cleared up. So you were there. You're filming. And the whole time you weren't aware of the fact that it was breaking that next day. That there was the fire, and you weren't aware about any of that. I mean, you literally. I had no idea about that. It was. How should I believe that? I mean, that does not make sense. <gasps> how does that not make sense? I mean, how does, I mean, basically the. Yeah, I mean, you didn't talk to your girl. You didn't want to talk to your girlfriend after that party. I mean, you thought you were. No, the way she times. had it, the way she had it, the way she had it set up was she wanted me to stay in the hotel room and she wanted me to just edit the film. And uh, and, and and how? I and mean, obviously, she sounds like I'm no offense, a kind of controlling person. Um, what what did she want? I mean, what was her mandate? What was her vision? What did she tell you how to edit, or were you free to do whatever you want? She didn't tell me how to edit. She didn't tell me how to do anything. The fact of the matter is, she just wanted me. She just wanted me to edit bits and pieces of the film and send them out to the press um, every week, every couple of weeks or so. It wasn't anything, it was probably harmless. I wasn't doing anything wrong. I wasn't doing anything wrong. She rented me a room and... Um, but, but when you got done and you found out that there was the fire and you couldn't reach out. on the fire, you couldn't reach on the phone. Yeah, but I just, I just found out about it, which is why I'm here right now. I'm not, okay. I'm only here right now because, you know, I found out, you know, that there was a tragedy and it, I had no intention for anybody to get hurt. What I want to do is just capture, you know, I really want to just capture um, the essence of what it's like uh, to for, for, to uh, you know be head on the of adulthood and responsibility. Whatever it was, you know, I just wanted. I really just wanted. I wanted something that we could believe in, something that we could actually look at as true to being twenty two, twenty one, whatever it is, and graduating and being shown what our lives are supposed to be like. I wanted to show something to the public. And I think we got that. I mean, I'm sorry that people were hurt. I'm sorry that, you know, f you know, families are uh, destroyed or anything. You know, it wasn't my intention at all. My intention was just to make art and to make a really nice piece of film. Well, um, you know, you may have gotten that and you may have gotten your career, which is probably the whole, I mean, idea behind what you did. I mean, was it your idea to do this or was it your girlfriend's? Whose, whose idea was it to even have this type of, film, if you want to call it, that happened. I mean, I really don't think it deserves to be called a film, but whatever. What do you think? Who was it? Your idea or hers? I mean, whose idea was it? Because to me, it sounds a little macabre. I mean, forget the deaths. Just this, I mean, I guess I can't separate it from the deaths, but tell me whose idea it was and, and from where it came from. I mean, you're a filmmaker. It must have been your idea then. Or was it not? I mean, did she bankroll it? Or was it, I mean, I need to know who's responsible for this. Because that is, I, I, if, if they died, I need to know why. I mean, maybe perhaps she arranged for them to be killed to make it, uh, I'll put this on the map. No all one right, would really right, care right. about this. So you, you may be innocent. I, I, I'm hearing that. But it's possible that she was manipulating you. Do you see that part? That she could have been playing you the whole time? I mean, you sure this woman loves you? I mean, what, how solid is this relationship in your mind now that you... Look back at this, these facts. I mean, I've been dating for two years. I was dating for two years. Two years is nothing. I mean, you're just a kid. You don't even know. Two years is a okay. breath. But you really think, I mean, you guys playing married, getting married? I mean, her, her father is I mean, I'm, I'm you know, not here, exactly. Man. I'm uh, coming here just clear my name and just really just. Sure, but I know, need to understand. Do you I understand? Can. I don't appreciate, you know, uh, being interrogated. I just came here to just help out as much as I can. Uh, you, you, you realize that even if you have nothing to do with the fire, the fact that you filmed these people, which by the way, three of these people did not pass away. They left the party early and whatever tragedy, either intentional or not, they felt as other people that there's three survivors, just them. You're, you're looking at civil liability for, you know, who knows? I mean, whatever money you make. So that, that, that's a side issue. But, but I just want you to understand that you're telling me you nothing to do with the fire, but the, but the death of these people is what enabled your work of art, which I'll give it to you. It is a work of art attempt to be a work of art. 
it gave you that context. I mean, Robert, what is it? Roger Ebert gave you four stars, but said it was, I think it was the quote, it was very convenient that the end, the, the, the fire would be such a perfect ending to what was an honorable intention. I think he said uh, in, in terms of your I your had idea. no idea there was going to be a fire. Let's just put that You up. had no idea that death would be the punctuation mark at the end of the sentence. That okay. was not, yeah, it was not. Right. What it was, it was supposed to be the party ends and kids wake up and they have no idea what to do next. Okay. Next morning, they have no idea what's going on. And that was the beauty about it was it was, it was, they didn't know. It was uh, uncertainty, you know. I think that was what I was going for. And, um, like a French New Wave kind of film, you're going to like let it like kind of dangle at the end with where, where they go and like yeah yeah okay, I think that's that's what I was looking for right well I've never seen any French New Wave so I, I I'm not you know really interested in that and I'm really kind of interested in how it seems to me that there's a huge huge logical connection between the fact that this party was not what it seemed to be it wasn't a party it was a manipulated event by your girlfriend it was it was a party it was a party for the graduates from this online college that's what, that's what they were that's what we were doing mm -hmm. and uh for everyone to get together and meet each other and it just happened to be that we were going to be uh filming them you know that's what i what? that's what that's what we were you know that's what we we're yeah um the fact is though that uh we will through forensic and other ways determine you know and you i guess you are have no problem taking a lie detector would that's you know, i have no problem with that okay. I and you like. also um not only you know i when before i came in this room i was net met not only by your attorney who agreed that you could be uh, interviewed alone by me but uh your agent now you have apparently so uh, again it's a little bit convenient to me that you have not perhaps monetarily but you've Profited off of this tragedy. And I have not yet profited. Well, off this yet. film, and it's not a tragedy. You're you're mentioned in Variety this week. Um, your name's out there. You had the choice of any agency. You, I mean, you, things have turned out well for you, except for perhaps the loss of your girlfriend, which, by the way, don't seem to be mourning that much. I mean, maybe again, you were 